patient is a 65-year-old male who presents with mild shortness of breath due to severe mitral regurgitation, that is, a leaky heart valve. The plan is to perform a minimal invasive mitral valve repair operation, so-called keyhole surgery. Cannulae for the heart-lung machine are placed through the groin vessels and fixed into place. Once the patient is on the heart-lung machine, the chest is opened via a small incision under the right breast. Special surgical instruments, including a thoracoscopic camera, are used to gain access to the heart. A high potassium solution is given into the aorta in order to temporarily stop the heart from beating. Once the heart has come to a complete arrest, the left atrium is opened and the mitral valve is exposed. Careful inspection of the mitral valve, which is formed of two leaflets, is performed with a small hook. In this case, we see that the posterior leaflet is markedly elongated with multiple broken cords that normally attach the leaflet to the papillary muscle. A water sealing test is performed in order to confirm that this is the only mechanism causing the leaking valve. A Gore-Tex suture with several loops of measured length are attached to the papillary muscle. Proper placement and positioning of the loops on the papillary muscle, which sits below the mitral valve, are confirmed under direct vision. Each of the Gore-Tex loops are then attached with a separate Gore-Tex suture to that segment of the mitral valve leaflet that is involved in the disease process. Special extended and narrow surgical instruments are required in order to work through the small incision. Several braided sutures are now placed around the mitral valve annulus, that is, the area where the valve leaflets join with the left atrium and left ventricle. These sutures are then passed through a supportive ring. The ring is lowered down onto the mitral annulus and the braided sutures are separately secured with a knot pusher. The sutures are each cut at an appropriate length and a repeat water sealing test is performed. This shows that the mitral valve is now completely competent. The left atrium is closed and air is removed from the heart. Normal blood flow is now re-established to the coronary arteries and the heart starts beating once again. The heart-lung machine is slowly weaned and the circulation is once again taken over by the heart. Transesophageal echocardiography is used to confirm the operative result. In this case, we see a perfectly competent mitral valve with normal cardiac function. The small incision is closed and the patient is then transferred to the recovery area. He will be transferred to the regular nursing ward tomorrow and discharged home on postoperative day six.